underspin approach shot, the racket is moving from high to low, and the racket face is laid back maybe 10, 20 degrees. Now, the grips that I recommend for an underspin approach are continental and eastern. Okay, let's go to our tennis racket handle. Remember, all racket handles are octagonal, eight-sided. We're going to give those sides numbers. Starting on top, that flat surface there is number one. F little small flat surface there is number two, three, four, and fives on the bottom. Same thing for a left-hander going the other way. Fives on the bottom. Now, we take the hand and we put an X on the index knuckle on the inside of the hand and an X on the heel of the hand. To find our continental grip, we're going to take those two X's and we're going to put them on number two. Now with that grip, you can hit your backhand and your forehand under spin shot. Now for an eastern forehand, we're going to take the X's and put them on number three. And for an eastern backhand, on number one. And those are the grips I recommend for under spin approach shots. Okay, if your underspin approach shots are going in the net, it could be one of two things. Number one, you could be stopping when you hit the ball. Remember, if you come up to hit your, your approach and you stop, the upper body tends to go down and the racket goes down and you simply drive the ball in the net. Remember, you've got to hit through this shot. You want to keep moving as you hit. So when you come up to hit the approach, you hit it and don't stop. Keep moving in. Now, the other reason could be that you're chopping down too severely and the racket face is vertical when you're hitting the ball. If you're starting high and you're coming down with a vertical racket, you're going to simply drive it in the net. Remember, when you swing high to low, the racket face has to be open a little bit, 10 to 20 degrees on the underspin approach. Okay, the two key points to remember to prevent underspin approach shots going in the net. Number one, don't stop, run through the shot. So when you hit it, don't stop, just keep going in. Number two, the racket's beveled back 10 to 20 degrees. Okay, if your underspin approach shots are going long, you have to remember that the racket face is only open 10 to 20 degrees when you're making contact. Many players have this notion that the racket is laid back way too much, and that just simply sends the ball floating. If the racket's laid back like that, the ball's just going to go up and float. So you have to think consciously close the face as you swing forward. So as you swing forward, close up the face so it's only 10 to 20 degrees laid back. You don't want to be like this. Now, another reason may be that you're, tr you're swinging too horizontal. Remember, for every degree that you lay the racket back, you have to increase the angle at which you swing down. So if you're open 10 or 20 degrees, you have to get the racket up. You've got to get the racket up and then swing down as you hit. That will tend to keep the ball lower. Now, theoretically, you could have the racket face open, say, 45 degrees, on, a, uh, on an approach shot, but that means you're going to have to increase the angle now. Remember, every degree you open it, you have to get the racket up higher. So now you're going to be way up here if you're open 45 degrees and you've got to come down. So remember those two points. If your underspin approach shots are going long, you may have to consciously close the face of the racket a little, only 10 or 20 degrees, or bring the racket up higher. That will prevent the ball from floating long.